Hey guys, this is question four. I'm back and um I'm going to do a actual a little rant slash review kind of on um a rant on Dragon Ball GT. It was a request from one of my subscribers and I haven't gotten to it yet, so now I'm finally getting a chance to do it. So okay. My thoughts on Dragon Ball GT pretty much. Um okay. I know a lot of people really, really, really dislike Dragon Ball GT. I don't dislike it that much. Not that much. But yeah, there are a lot of bad points to it, obviously. The the main thing that bothered me a lot is just how they messed up the characters. Yeah. Like, I think, like, the way they messed, like, them up is just like, ugh. Like, but at first, the thing that bothered me the most is that Goku got turned into a kid. I hated that. I hated that so much. Adult Goku is like so much better than, for me, adult Goku is way better than freaking kid Goku. And he's just like, he got so annoying as a kid. I liked him so much better. I mean, okay, maybe they had him as a kid for a couple of episodes, maybe, or whatever. And then he could, and then they could turn him back, you know, to an adult. But no, they kept him as a kid the whole time. The only time we got to see him as an adult was Super Saiyan 4, and no, that was retarded. He's not even, Super Saiyan 4 is not even really a Super Saiyan, okay? It's not really a Super Saiyan. But, um, yeah, okay, you never ever see him as an adult. The only time you get to see him is for, like, the first ten minutes of the, of the first episode, and, um, the very end of the last episode, you know, with Goku Jr., Vegeta Jr., and stuff. Yeah. Um, Okay. Hate the way they made Trunks look. He looks like a freaking ADA, like a freaking douche with his freaking shorts. He looks retarded. I don't like the way he made they made him, okay? Um Gohan, what the hell's up with Gohan? His freaking glasses. He has his freaking tie, okay, he looks like a nerd. He's supposed to be fighting, not he does fight in the series, but still I would like I would have liked to see him a lot more. Actually, I would like to see, I would have liked to see the, the other characters a lot more in it. The only three people they had was Pan, Trunks, and Goku. Those were the main three people. I mean, seriously. Okay, first for the first what like um, first two seasons, all you see pretty much is freaking Trunks, Pan, Goku. Those are the main people for the first two seasons pretty much and it was just like okay how about the other people and then finally when the baby he comes and he like transforms and all that crap finally you get to see some Goten some Gohan Vegeta of course but very little and I don't know they should have involved them more into the series you know how in Dragon Ball Z they switch to different like stories once in a while like Goku would be fighting Frieza for example and then they switch over to a different person yeah, yeah, because I would like to see their storylines get more, like, involved, you know, what's up with them. It's actually fun, it's actually fun but they, when they did that. Um, but no, they had to keep it Goku, Pan, Trunks. Mm. Okay, um, Baby Saga wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. Actually, the dragons, like, when they, the beginning, of GT when they were looking for a Dragon Ball and they were looking for the Dragon Balls um, that was kind of boring at some points it really was like I don't know it's just got boring especially with just those three characters in it the whole time that part of the story was pretty boring and then 17 the Super 17 um, saga was pretty good as well I like seeing all those old villains coming back and fighting and all that crap it was pretty cool even though I would have liked some of the battles to be a little longer. Um, like, it would have been cool, you know, how Vegeta, like, was fighting with Nappa. All I did was, like, d did one attack and he, like, blew up. It would have been cooler, maybe, if, like, maybe he, was, he came back stronger and they had a cool fight. But it was just, pfft, the end, you're dead. And, um, the Black Star Dragon Ball saga with the dragons and all that, it was... It was good, I guess. Some of the dragons were lame. Lame. A lot of the dragons were lame. Okay. The best one was Nova and Omega. Those were the best 
dragons, okay? Because the other one's the other one's pretty lame. Seriously, that green guy, the fat green guy, I forgot. Hey, Shenron. Gay, okay. He got like he was just, he was stupid. He was like polluting everything. Stupid. And then um I forgot the name of the 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 mole thingy. I forgot the name of that dragon. He was retarded. Um Oceanus was okay. Whatever. But they weren't very cool looking in any way for me at least. Um Nova was badass and Omega was pretty cool too. So yeah. Um and I know, like, a lot of people, like, don't really like Pan. I actually really, I don't know why, but I, I like Pan a lot. It would have been cool to see her Super Saiyan, but whatever. It didn't happen. It would have been awesome, but... But a lot of people complain about how, um, Pan took off with Trunks and Goku and stuff. Because Goten was supposed to be actually going with them. Um... Yeah, I think this, it would have been a really interesting, like, to see Ghost and Go instead of Pan, because, I don't know, Goten is cooler. I hate the outfit he wore, though, the green shirt and the purple pants, so tacky, but, um, it would have been so much cooler to see him go off with the, to see him go with Goku and Trunks. I mean, it wouldn't make... I think it would have made Dragon Ball GT more interesting. Another thing, I thought that uh, Giru was annoying. I don't know about you guys, but his, his, I don't know, he was just annoying. Giru, Giru, him saying Giru all the freaking time. Danger, danger, shut the fuck up, stupid robot. It was annoying. He was annoying. I don't know if anybody likes him, but I thought he was annoying as hell. Um, it's just a lot of people don't really consider Dragon Ball GT part of the Dragon Ball saga because also because Akira Toriyama wasn't really involved in it much while he did was sell the rights to what uh Toei and they fucked it up. <laughs> what I mean I guess like just like Dragon Ball Evolution, it's another part of the series, you know, try it out, like to see something new from it. Just like Dragon Ball Evolution, it's it's an adaption. A lot of people like kinda say that for Dragon Ball G T but also I thought like Dr. Mew was weird. Like, Dr. Mew was just, um, Dr. Mew was just like a ripoff from Dr. Jiro in a way. Kind of even looked like him. He kind of even, yeah, he did kind of look like him. Except he had a blue skin and all that. But I mean, he had the freaking mustache going on and the, the long hair. Dr. Dr. Jiro, Dr. Mew. Kind of reminded me of him. It kind of looked like a ripoff, a gay ripoff of him. But they t team up in like the the Super 17 saga. Just saying, I just I thought he was lame. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Dragon Ball GT. And um, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts slash opinions on Dragon Ball GT. And until next video, bye.